Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video and I would like to make the context for my future videos to come. I have been looking around for online resources available for software developers and students of computer science to learn about distributed system design, especially in the context of tackling the system design interview questions. Although there are some YouTube channels and some online courses available, However, none of them is comprehensive enough to be suggested as a single place to learn about distributed system design, especially if you are uh, constrained by time limit and you have your next interview in three to four weeks. That is why I will try my best as my time permits to discuss solutions of common and frequently asked questions, uh, system design questions by the top tier software companies like Microsoft, Facebook, Google, Amazon and others. Today in this video, I want to discuss why most candidates fail the system design interview and what are the things that you should keep in mind while solving a system design interview questions and what should be the overall format or structure of the system design interview that you need to follow in order to be successful in the system design interview. The main reason why most candidates fail the system design interview is nothing but not enough preparation. Candidates usually spend a lot of time uh, solving lead code problems, but spend very little time learning about distributed system design and how to tackle the system design interviews. So when they face with the system design interview, then they perf don't perform well and thus get a no hire from the interviewer. So you should give due importance to learning about distributed system design and should spend more time uh, understanding when it needs to, what it needs to ace the system design interview. The very first thing you need to understand that you are supposed to drive the interview. This is very, very important, especially if you are applying for senior or principal level software de developer job uh, where they require the candidate to work independently and have uh, leadership skills. So if you are not driving the interview, it will give the impression that you lack uh, leadership skills and, and this will cause you to get a no hire from the interviewer. The second important thing you need to understand is that you have 45 to 60 minutes to solve the system design interview. So you have time constraints and you cannot design a big complex system like designing Facebook or designing Netflix or Uber within those 45 minutes. So you need to scope down the problem. The interviewer provides you a vague problem usually and he expects he, that you will ask questions to clarify the requirements and scope down the problem. So during the first 5 to 10 minutes, you will ask uh, uh, questions to clarify the requirements and scope down the problem. Again here, this is very important that you need to understand that you are supposed to drive the interview. So you will not ask questions and expect an interviewer to, rep uh, to reply. Uh, you are expected to actually discuss what could be the requirements and what should be the scope of this problem for as far as the interview is concerned. And then you just need to have a confirmation from the interviewer whether he agrees with, you, with the requirements that you are mentioning and the scope that you have defined right now, whether he is okay with that or not. Usually there are two sets of requirements that you need to discuss. One is the functional requirements and the second is the non-functional requirements. The functional requirements deals with the functionality of the system or the service or what, uh, what's, uh, the, uh, what, are the, what is the problem that the system is solving. While the non-functional requirements deals with the health of the service for the system. Let me give you an example. Suppose you are asked to design tiny URL service. The functional requirements of the tiny URL service is the, are basically that uh, given a big URL, uh, the tiny URL service should be able to create and return a tiny URL to the user and provided a tiny URL, the tiny URL service should be able to redirect the user to the big URL. That is the functional requirement of the tiny URL service. However, whether the tiny URL service is available 99% of the time or 99.99% of the time, uh, whether the tiny URL service is designed to be scalable to support 1 billion users or not, these are the requirements 
which deals with not the functionality of the service but the health of the service uh, if the number of users increase and these are the non-functional requirements you need to understand one thing here though that both the functional and non-functional requirements uh, affect the way you will be designing your service the next five minutes you should be discussing how the user is supposed to interact with the with the system so what is the application programming interface the system provides and you should not spend more than five minutes on it the next five to ten minutes you should be discussing the high level design of your system here you should be able to uh, discuss the different components uh, in your system uh, for example what is the storage look like what are uh, how how many uh, application servers uh, you will have uh, here you should be able to so here you should be able to identify all the building blocks of the, your system which when work together should be able to solve the problem end to end so now up to th this point you have spent at most 20 to 25 minutes uh, 10 minutes in uh, requirement collection and scoping down the system uh, 5 minutes in api design and 5 to 10 minutes in the high level design of your system now the rest of the 20 25 minutes you should be discussing about the detailed design of your system this is the point where you will ask the interviewer about his opinion uh, about which component of the system he would like you to go deep dive this is the point where you will be discussing different approaches in designing a component and why you choose one approach over the other. Here you will identify and resolve the bottlenecks in your system. Here if the interviewer feels he may direct you towards discussing the design of one component rather than another component uh, in your system. So this should be the overall structure and format of the system design interview. Let, let, let me repeat again, you are supposed to drive the interview and this is very important. You shouldn't forget that you need to drive the interview yourself and not the interviewer. You need to show that you have leadership skills. Then of course, again, the second thing you need to remember that usually you cannot uh, design a big complex system in 45 minutes. So you need to collect the requirement and scope down the problem. You should not spend more than five to 10 minutes uh, in collecting the requirements which are like functional and non-functional requirements and uh, uh, I have seen candidates in the past which takes like 30 minutes to just collect the requirements and then they have only 10 to 15 minutes to solve or design the system which is not good you don't you do not want to spend more than 5 to 10 minutes in collecting the requirements similarly uh, when you are discussing the application programming interface you don't want to spend more than 5 minutes similarly when you are discussing the high level design you don't want to spend more than five to ten minutes. You st you want at most at at much time possible uh, to keep for the detailed design. And this is very very important that you do not exceed the time limits that I have uh, mentioned here. So I hope you like this video. If you find my video useful, please like the video uh, in the YouTube website. Also, if you like to get notified about my future videos, then please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon. Thank you and take care.